Syria's Bashar al-Assad receives an official invite to his first Arab League summit in more than 12 years. Family and friends of slain Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abouaklem mark her death one year on. Turbulence on board a Qatar Airways flight forces a diversion. And finally, the excitement is heating up for the AFC Asian Cup as the draw is completed. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Saudi Arabia on Wednesday sent an invitation to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to attend the upcoming Arab Arab League Summit. The meeting is scheduled to take place in Jeddah on the 19th of May and we'll see Assad attend for the first time since the conflict erupted more than a decade ago. It comes after the Arab League last week readmitted Syria into the bloc despite opposition from some countries. Qatar says it remains firm in its stance against normalizing with the Assad regime and believes such a move would be a betrayal of the Syrian people. One year on, the family and friends of Shirin Abouakli came together earlier today to remember the late journalist. Known as the voice of Palestine, Abu Akhle was a prominent Palestine correspondent on the Qatar-based network and spent decades reporting on the Israeli occupation of her homeland. On the 11th of May last year, Abu Akhle was shot dead by Israeli forces as she reported on a raid in Jenin. Speaking at an event organized by Al Jazeera on Thursday, her family and colleagues urged for those responsible to be held to account. And now, a Qatar Airways flight from Doha to Denpasar was rerouted to Bangkok after severe turbulence caused injuries to passengers on board, the carrier said on Wednesday. Hours later, the Qatari flag carrier clarified the injuries were quote moderate and confirmed the aircraft landed safely in Bangkok where medical teams were on standby. And in sports, the draw for the AFC Asian Cup has been made. Qatar will face off against Lebanon, China and Tajikistan in Group A. The continental tournament will be held at eight stadiums across Qatar on 12th of January 2024. Speaking to reporters a day earlier, a top AFC Asian Cup official said Qatar has become a global sports capital. That's it for me today for more stories head over to our website dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates